Hi guys, welcome to Linksa YouTube channel. My name is Ramisha and I'm your online instructor. So what's in this video? In this video, we will talk about how to install Ansible Navigator in Linux. So guys, let's begin the topic. But before start the lab session, we need to understand few points, which is what is Ansible Navigator and its use cases. So Ansible Navigator is robust utility designed to facilitate the management and execution of Ansible Playbook, which are powerful tool for automating tasks in IT infrastructure. It's a powerful command line tool that uh, and it is based on text-based user interface for creating, reviewing, running and troubleshooting Ansible contents including inventories, playbook, collections, documents and container images which is known as here execution environments. So in this demo we will see how to install Ansible Navigator in 9.3, in RHEL 9.3. So let's begin the lab session and currently you can see uh, I have one Linux box. Uh, let me show you the OS release version of this machine first, where PTC Wizard release. Currently, I'm working on RHEL 9.3, and let me check the IP address of this machine is 172.25.197.64. Okay, so uh, let's start the first step, which is register and subscribe your RHE login system. So before proceeding the installation, it is necessary to register your system and associate it with your Red Hat account. So if you don't have a Red account, you can create it from Red Hat official website. This registration process is important for accessing Red Hat software and updates. So just follow the simple command. Command is subscription manager register register and press just enter. So here you need to give the username. So I'll just give the username and just give the password. So I just give the username and the password. This username password I created on Red Hat official URL. Done. Subscription has expired. Okay, let me close it. So now you can see system is successfully registered with registered ID. Now move to the next step, which is find the required subscription ID. To install Ansible Navigator, you need to know the ID of required subscription. So you can find this ID by running simple command again with subscription manager and go with the list. And then you can type available. So once I press enter, it will show me uh, my pool ID, right? Yeah, here's the pool ID. So this is very, very important for us because on the basis of this pool ID, we need to attach attaching the subscription in my system. So just attach the relevant subscription uh, to this Linux system. You can replace your pool ID with your subscription ID, which you will be obtaining your previous step. So the command is subscription manager. Again, subscription manager and just type attach and hyphen hyphen auto. So it will be automatically pick up the pool ID and it will attach your system. Updating, fetching, yeah, here you can see the message. Registration successfully, the system has been registered and software update have been enabled, perfect. Let it be complete first. We can just click on this option. And here, if I scroll down, here you will see subscription registered, right? If you click this one, you can unsubscribe from here also. Okay, I'm not going to unsubscribe right now. So let it be complete, it will take a couple of minutes. Let's check in compliance and status. Patching, you can see the keys, perfect. Now let's move to the next step, which is enable the Ansible repository and install Ansible Navigator command line tool. So to install the Ansible Navigator, you need to enable the Ansible automation platform repository that corresponds to your system. 
So first list all the repository with the name Ansible Automation Platform using the simple command. So I have written the command in my notepad. Let me copy from here. This is the command which we need to run. So command is simple, just copy. Uh, I'll paste it here. Subscription manager, repos, hyphen, hyphen, list. And over there, I'm going to grab Ansible Automation Platform. So I'm listing all repository with the name Ansible Automation Platform. So this will display a list of repository matching the specified name. And we need to make sure to take uh, a note of the repository name uh, you intend to Ansible, right? So here's the 2.3, 2.4, 2.2, and 2.4, 2.2 for RHEL9, x86, 64 bit architecture, RPM. So I'll go with this one, right? So uh, let uh, I, I, in the next step, what we need to do, uh, I need to activate the Ansible Automation Platform repository by running the command. What was the command? Let me go back on my notepad. Uh, that's the command subscription manager repos enable and the path so let me copy again from here and let me paste simple so i'll go with 2.2 for rhl 9 2.2 for rhl 9 x 64 bit right <clears throat> fetching keys okay checking status So let it be enable my repository. Repository is enabled for the system. Perfect. Now you can see uh, my repository is enabled. So in the next step, what we need to do, we need to update the system and install the Ansible Navigator command line tool by running DNF update and DNF install command. Right. So first of all, let me update DNF update and let's see what the updates are available for us. Okay, here you see, you can see the updates are available, right? So let it be installed first. So go with one. So it will be update my Podman, Python 3 packages, kernel core packages, and many more important packages, right? So let it be complete first. Approx 91 packages are there. I'm not going to pause the screen, let it be go. I don't want to miss anything in the recording, but okay, it will take some time, but let it be go. <coughs> Sorry. Updating Firefox also. Okay. Podman packages. Are you sure to continue? Yes. Are you sure to continue? Yes. Key imported successfully.
see upgrading started so 171 packages okay let it go we will wait to two packages are updated successfully so just wait for a couple of minutes more taking too much time so I think I need to pause the screen for a couple of minutes so in case 90 packages are there it will go with 171 so I'll just stop or uh, pause the recording for a couple of minutes when it will be complete 
and 171 i will be come back again okay So welcome guys, uh, welcome back guys, and you can see it's successfully completed, and it will take in my machine approx 15 minutes more. So now updation is successfully done. Uh, let me reboot the machine before going to interact with the Ansible navigator. So let me reboot. So now it's coming up, just wait. So here I have my login screen. Let me log in with username root and with the password, whatever the password. Okay. So rebooting done. Let me take the session and install Ansible Navigator. We are ready to install the Ansible Navigator. We have successfully updated the entire package. We have rebooted the machine properly and we have already subscribed our machine. So just open the terminal and go to the process. So let me click on the terminal login as privileges user okay we know that so just let me set the screen first okay let me set the internet connectivity internet should be there yeah it is so now just run the simple command dnf d and f install ansible navigator 
what happened. So let me open the new session. Let me type it there. So one, two, three, four, three, five. Okay. And let me go with that issue. So this DNF install and see well navigator. Okay. Updating subscription manager 21 packages. Perfect. Just press Y, install the packages. See, Python 3 is installed, right? Let it be complete, 21 packages, not take too much time. Perfect, done. So you can see it's installed successfully. We can verify the autom automation content navigator install on the system by running ansible navigator command with the hyphen hyphen version option. So we can go with ansible navigator hyphen hyphen version. It will show me if everything is okay. Yeah, here it is, ansible version 2.1.0. Now move to the next step, which is pull the execution environment to work with the ansible navigator. So for that one, we need to log into the container registry Use the podman login command to log in into the automation hub registry. So just run the simple podman login command with the registry. So the command is I'm back here. Podman login registry.redhead.io. So just press enter, get the same username and the password. Whatever the username I have. I just give the password, username and the password. I'm not successful. Let me verify, get login. So currently I'm logging with my user. Okay, now we log in successfully. Let's run the Ansible Navigator command. It will automatically pull the image from registry.redhead.io. So Ansible, even I can go with podman pull command also, but Navigator will automatically does for us. See, registry.redhead.io, Ansible Automation Platform 22, Execution environment supported RHEL 8 and it is the latest version, right? So let it be full. Yeah, started. So that's the by default behavior of Ansible Navigator. If you go with Ansible Navigator and the execution environment and by any container image is not available in your machine, once you press Ansible Navigator, it will be automatically pass the image from registry. So let it be complete. Then soon we will see the text user interface of Ansible Navigator.
soon it will be going to be complete. Okay, till let me log in back. Sorry. Yeah, here it is. So if I go back a skip, you will find out all images are successfully done, right? So if I go with Podman, Podman, Podman images. So here you can see. Okay, look at the size 1.66 gigabit. That's why it's taking too much time, right? So here you can see the execution environment images for Ansible operation is available for me. So if I go with Ansible operation, see what happened. So that that uh, this is the final step which I'm going to perform in front of you. One common issue faced by the Ansible navigator is that whenever we run the Ansible navigator, look at that what happened. See, it's pull again the image again and again, right? So uh, it's a Ansible navigator uses it is it is that Podman tends to pull the image every time when you run the Ansible navigator, right? So it is try to pull the first, then go for the local cache if it is there. So this can be programmatic if you want to use a cache image, right? So the solution is that we need to configure the Ansible navigator configuration file and update the image location and tells that hey unnecessary do not to try to pull the image again and again from the registry if it is locally available, right? So how we can do that? Just simply create a file named ansible navigator.yml and just put a few in queue. So I have a file. I'll just create this file as a hidden file. OEIM inside my root folder. And you can uh, make this file in any project folder. It's not a big deal that you need to only go with the home folder, right? I just create and paste it here. See, ansible navigator execution environment. Let me save it from here. The extension should be, we remember guys, uh, that's YAML, right? And Podman images. So here you can see I have mentioned the execution environment image location registry.redhead.io slash ansible automation platform 2.2 with EE support RHL8 latest in. And I said policy full missing. That means do not unnecessarily try to go and internet and search the registry to get the available images, right? And I don't want to enable the artifacts kind of logs. So now what happened if I go with Ansible Navigator this time, if I press enter, see what happened, quickly it will open for me. And here you will find out n number option, collection, config, documentation, help, images, inventory, you can play, you can replay, you can get the settings and everything from here. So guys, this is how you can install the Ansible Navigator on the line machine. That's all about this demo. I hope you find this is useful for you. Finally, this is the end of this topic. Hopefully you enjoyed and learned new things. Soon I will come up with another new interesting topic. Till then, keep practicing. If you feel something I have missed or you wanted to know more something, use, please reach out through my social media links, which is mentioned in the description. And if you like this video, please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe my channel and press the bell icon button for the latest update. Thanks for watching. Stay safe and